Thanks for joining us today at Island Ford Superstore, located on Norcross Road in Duncan, BC, off the Trans-Canada Highway. We're in the Couchin Valley on Vancouver Island, and you can visit us online at islandford.ca for more information and a full description of this vehicle. Today, we're looking at a 2021 Explorer ST in ruby red metallic with black leather interior, seating for six, four doors, and a hatch. It has a three liter V6 EcoBoost engine, and it's a four wheel drive. Has an automatic transmission, and it also has a street pack, which gives you the 21 inch black painted aluminum wheels. As well, it has a twin panel moonroof. It has a technology package with a 10.1 inch LCD screen, and it has reverse camera as well as nav and a trailer tow package. It's really easy to get into this vehicle. Just talk to our sales team. They'd be happy to take you out on a test drive and you can book that online at islandford.ca. Storage and speaker in the door as well as power locks, windows and mirrors. There's also memory for three drivers. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar and you have the multi-contour option here which gives you massaging seats. You have your lighting controls located here, the lift gate release, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And on the face of the steering wheel is your lane keeping as well as cruise control, volume. There's your menu, hands-free dialing. You also have paddle shifters. There's one on the left and the other one's on the right. And your lane keeping is located there. And then this is a push start. So my foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket. We're gonna push the engine start stop button. On your dash, any important messages will appear. And you also have a menu that we can go into and you can toggle through for different options in the screen. So select screens, audio, navigation, phone, settings, display setup. And these all have sub menus. There you go, and it goes back around. Our display screen there, I'm just gonna put it in reverse. You're gonna see your backup camera view and where your vehicle is in space, which I really like. This is a 10.1 inch screen, it's quite large. We can go into the audio and you can choose your different options as far as your media, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio. You also have navigation and that little red line across is the protector. This is a little slow in getting up and that's just because I've grabbed the vehicle before it has gone through the shop and been taken out of transport mode. But normally it's a lot quicker than this and there's your map there and then your settings and you can just slide through for different options. And there's your seats, that's the multi-contour and that gives you the massaging for both driver and passenger, quite nice. And your volume and tuner, there's your 360 camera, your hazard lights, your uh, parking sensors, heated and cooled seats as well as a heated steering wheel and then again heated and cooled for your passenger, dual climate control, you have your AC and max AC as well as the front and rear defrost. And in the little cubby, you've got a USB, USB-C, and a 12 volt, and you can just close that up and then pop that closed. You've got a dial shifter, electronic parking brake, auto hold, so if you're on an incline or towing, this vehicle does have a trailer tow kit, you would use that to keep yourself in place. You have your drive mode, and as we dial through, you're gonna see it appear on your dash. So there's normal, eco, sport, tow haul, and then you can go back around again, slippery, trail, and deep snow sand. And you notice that the pictures look different as you go through. And then you have your park assist, hill descent, as well as your traction control, auto stop start for less idle time, couple of cup holders, and you've got the ambient lighting. Those are those rings that you're seeing at the bottom. And then you've got your wireless charging pad right in front. And then you can unclip here. You've got a little bin. Take that out of your armrest. You've got a 12 volt and lots of room down there. And then pop that closed off to the side is your locking glove compartment and you have an auto dimming rear view mirror universal garage door opener here's your lighting controls and your sunglass holder and this has a twin panel moonroof as well as a power screen so with the buttons you can tilt and slide that moonroof as well as move the uh, screen back to slide out of the way and so you can control your light and air and there's a grab handle on the passenger side making it easier to get in. 21 inch black painted aluminum wheels, body coated door handle, keyless entry keypad, driver's side capless easy fuel gas filler. In the back you've got a little bit of a spoiler and a windshield wiper and just below the, the Explorer badge is your backup camera, backup sensors on your bumper, quad exhaust, and you've got a class 3 trailer tow hitch, 4 and 7 pin connector. When you want to open up 
the hatch, all you have to do is double click your fob. You can also give it a kick and it releases from inside. If you want to do it manually, there's a little arrow. You just press here and it'll open right up for you. Inside, you've got the cargo management system and you can see you've got lots of room. That back seat is a 50-50 split. When we open this up, you've got an all-weather mat. There's also a net that goes, a cargo net that goes across. You've got hooks and tabs to be able to keep everything in place. And as well, you've got power uh, third row seats by pushing the buttons, a 12 volt as well as a light. And when you're ready to close it all up, you can close it using this, a kick, your fob, and you can also lock it. And then once it's all locked up, you can walk away or you can jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Storage and speaker in the door, as well as power windows. You also have these nice little visors that slide up and down, and that just gives you a screen to cut down on the glare. There's a grab handle in the body. And in this row, you've got your two seats. And when you want to bring them back and forward, you just push the button, push it again, and you can slide it forward. You now have access to the two seats in the back and they're a 50-50 split. You've got little uh, cup holders and bins there and then you also have anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats and then just give it a push back into the regular position and back up. It's got armrests as well for comfort and in the center you have a little cubby there with a couple of cup holders, carpeted mats on the floor and in the center you've got your climate control, heated seats for this row as well as USB and 110 and you have slim pockets on the back of the front seat. There's a grab handle on the other side. Up above you're seeing that nice twin panel moonroof as well you have lighting and vents off to the side. LED tail lights, hands-free lift activated lift gate, privacy glass in the back windows, roof rails, heated and powered side view mirrors with blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us at Island Ford Superstore, BC's number one rated Ford dealer.